On behalf of the uh, school management and the board of uh, go governors in the school, and on behalf of my brother priest, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome His Grace in our midst uh, to celebrate for us and with us this holy sacrifice of the Mass as we pray for our candidates in Form 4 and in Class 8 that God, the good Lord may bless them and guide them as they sit for this year examination and may God enable them to pass well. Your grace, we feel most welcome in our midst 
and we'll request you now to lead us in this mass. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you, Amen. my dear brothers and sisters. We gather today to say thank you to God for the gift of these young people. And as we do so, we also want to ask God to give them happy life that they will know him more, they will love him, and they will serve him in whatever way they are going to live in their lives. We wish them success in their examinations. Now, what they are going to do, but even in the future, other examinations. We want to thank God for the staff, and we want to thank God for their parents, and above all, also we have to thank God for this wonderful school that God has brought us together to be known and to discover more and more that we are his own children and we belong together. For this, let us ask for forgiveness of our sins as we say, I confess to Almighty God. And what I've done and what I failed to do through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Lord to make a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling place to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. First reading. A reading from the letter of St. James. Blessed the man who endures trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one, but each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire, then desire when it has conceived give birth to sin, and sin when it is full grown brings forth the dead. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good endowment and every perfect gift is from above, 
coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no valuation or shadow due to change. Of his own will he blot us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, and the response is, Bless the man whom you discipline, O Lord. 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 And it shall be sung. Blessed be the man you discipline, O Bless the man whom you discipline, O oh Lord. Bless the man whom you discipline, O oh Lord. Bless the man whom you discipline, O oh
man loves me, he will keep my word, says the Lord, and my father will love him, and we will come to him. Hallelujah. <laughs> The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, the disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And Jesus cautioned them, saying, Take heed, beware of the living of the Pharisees and the living of Herod. And they discussed it with one another, saying, We have no bread. And being aware of it, Jesus said to them, Why do you discuss the fact that you have no bread? Do you not perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Having eyes, do you not see? And having ears, do you not hear? And you do not remember, when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? They say to him, twelve. And the seven for the four thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? And they said, seven and he said to them do you not under yet understand my dear friends the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Thank you, Spirit. So my dear fathers, our principal and the staff, the board of the school, supporting staff, and our dear students, uh, first of all, I want to express my joy being with you here today. The first time that I happen to be celebrating Holy Mass with you. Thank you very much for the invitation. I wish it would have happened earlier, but because of other commitments in the morning, it was not possible. So I'll come another day, God willing, to take over to finish the morning part. Today I'm, I'll come for the afternoon part. I, I'm sure you welcome me again. Are you sure you welcome me? Yes. I'll come. I'll come. Okay. Now, I want to congratulate you for the wonderful discipline that I experienced as I came into your compound. The discipline that you displayed as you received me, I want to say thank you and congratulations. Stupia Makofi.
Because I will talk about it to others. Ni wambia wengine? I tell others. Yes. And when I go to others, because I will tell them. I tell them these Loreto girls, Loreto Limuru, they behave like this. And I say, I will talk good about you. So, so, yeah. I want to thank Joy. Joy welcomed me and she gave me, in a very short time, she gave me the whole history of the school. Joy, thank you very much. I don't know where she is now. She told me I've been ordered to take you around and to show you what to do. And she did that. I obeyed. <laughs> and finally she handed me over to the principal. So I was handed over to you. I hope I'm still, I'm still in the same hands. Thank you very much. So th Joy, thank you for the history you gave me. And you told me this school and this church began in 1936. Long, long, long time ago, eh? Yeah, in 1936. And uh, it is now here. But the fact is that the church which was ahead of us, in front of us as we are moving on to the central area of the school, is now too small for you to be there. So you are building another church which she hopes will be ready as soon as possible so that all of you may go there. Is that true, Father? That's true, yeah? So thank you, Joy, for telling me that reality. And it told me one thing, that you are God, a God-fearing people, a God-fearing young people. I'm very happy about it, and, and I want to assure you of my prayers as you continue learning and growing, growing, knowing God. Tujipikia makofi. So when the church is ready, I know you contributed a lot when you went home and you came back, you have done a big part of building that church. It is the work of your hands. It's the work of your, your hands. So, when the priest is there and says, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this church in which we pray. The church of human hands and your own gift, it is you who is part and parcel of that church. So use it now and when it's ready and even in future days to come, when you come back here as alumni. So thank you for that. I want to say very briefly about the gospel which completes the reading, first reading and second reading. And in the gospel, Jesus Christ is talking about one word that connects the first words of his speech and the last words of his speech. He asks his apostles, Do you don't you remember? When I broke bread, and all they all ate, and don't you remember how many baskets, baskets remained? What did they say? What did they say? They said twelve. Yeah, they started looking at each other, because it's a question of examination. So they started looking at each other, some said four, uh, others said seven, and others said twelve. Isn't it? Uh, but you catch that word. The catch, catch point is remembering. Is remembering. And you remember when he was now finally finishing his, his work on the earth. And again he gathered them all together now. And again at bread, breaking bread again as he had done before. And he told them again, now do this in memory of me. And you will hear always the priest says, do this in the memory of me. That day you remember I broke broad bread that was all fed and they were satisfied and they praised the Lord. And now at last supper I'm breaking bread that all of you will eat and you will be satisfied. We call it 
the Eucharist. We call it the Eucharist, Eucharist. But still, the word is important. Remember. Remember. Don't you remember? So when Joy was telling me the history of this school, I remembered many things. I remembered this school has a wonderful tradition. It has a wonderful tra tradition. When you come here, you are always reminded by your teachers, you are reminded by your parents, you are reminded by people of good will who have passed here. They say, don't you remember? I was there and I did exams there. I learned there. And look at me. This is who I am. I am a minister. I am a doctor. I am a lawyer. And what else? What do you desire to be? A I'm a pilot. What else? Engineer. Eh? Engineer. I'm engineer. What else? An architect. And what else? And just, just look at that. Just look at that. As you remember that, today we are praying for all those people. We are praying for all those people. As we remember our history, the history of our school, which has been so successful, so joyous, so fruitful, we remember the history of those people who have come out of this world. Don't you remember? They are they pilots, they are everything. And now, if you do that, as they did, you also be, you be what? Who wants to be a doctor? To a figure my coffee. When you remember, you will be a lawyer. Who wants to be a lawyer? Yeah, to a figure my coffee. Don't you remember, you will be a pilot. Who wants to be a pilot? Thank you. Don't you remember you will be you do what? An engineer. Who wants to be an engineer? I bless you. So Sawa, I bless your your desire to be a pilot, to be a doctor, to be an engineer, to be a lawyer, to be whatever you want. Serio? Yeah, let it be your heart's desire and ask God. God, in your willingness, make me this instrument that I may serve you well in my capacity and my giftedness as that person. What else do you want to be? An architect, serious? And that I bless you. So, so yeah, what else do you want to be? And, and, uh, now, who wants to be a who wants to be a doctor? Come here. Come here, one of you. To be a, who wants to be a doctor? Come. Just one. Just one. Okay. So you represent all the doctors. Stand there. Stand there. Just face the people. They will be looking at your face and they will be remembering always. So, so. And who wants to be a lawyer? Oh, come here. Okay. Yeah. Stand there and face them. They will be remembering you all the days. And among you, who, who, who wants to be an architect? Just one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, come. Okay, come. come. Yeah, engineer, architect, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, just one representative. Okay. And even among you, let me ask you, maybe it's, it is a very selfish question or a foolish one. But I just want to ask you, among you, who wants to be a sister? Come forward. Them, but they represent our, our wishes. See you? They represent the excellency of our school. See you? Yeah, they represent our heart's desire as young people. See you? And they, want, they represent what God wants of us. So when God loves you, 
he gives you what you will use for the goodness, for his own goodness. So, so, so these young people, I will bless you now on behalf of others, but I will bless also the, the form for givers when time comes. So, so, uh, so that when you go, they will always remember that in this school we have had doctors and we want good ones as well. We have had architects, we want more and more. We have had lawyers, we want more and more. Pilots and everything, and that is for that reason that school stands here. I'm in one in Yeah. I did ask if anyone remembers who wants to be a principal here. Is there anyone? Come and join. Oh, yeah. Come on. Thank you. Know that all that you want to be is for the greater service and the greater glory of God's name. So, so. And for the good of human persons. So, so. Yeah. Be what you want. Be what you want. And let the world be what you want. So, so. If you, change the, you want to change the world, you have to change it as being what you are. So, so. Uh, you cannot change the world to be not who you are. You cannot give what you don't have. So be what you are. So can I bless you before I say the final thing? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Father, we thank you for these young ones. We thank you for their heart's desires. We pray that they may continue being strong and in having conviction in what they want to be and bless them with the knowledge, bless them with the understanding, Bless them with a good memory so that they may remember always that all that they are doing it comes from you. And it is you who will keep them going. And I bless them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So doctors, sisters, uh, lawyers, pilots, everybody, God bless you. Amen. Sing for them a song. Ah, you sing. So that one we want everybody to be serious. And I think it might be others who want to be something else. If I may ask, can I ask? Yes. Okay. Who wants to be a crook? Come forward. Who wants to be a thief? Come forward. Who wants to be what? A drug trafficker? Come forward. What else were I asking? Who wants to be so corruptible? Oh no, we don't want it. Oh no, we don't want it. Okay, if you don't want it, it's exactly what we listen today in the gospel. The disciples of Jesus Christ, as they walked with him, they were learning a lot of things. As you walk with your teachers here, and as you walk with everybody as young as you are, you learn a lot of things. Some might be good, are good, and some might be very bad. The world has, the world has a lot of cultures. These ones, they were told, should you remember that you had bread and bread in abundance. You should say thank you to God, but you have forgotten everything. They were reminded. They were, we live in a culture, we live in the world where there are many things. It's a, a culture now called even globalized culture. It's called globalized culture. In globalized culture, you can touch a, a, a mobile phone and everything is there for you, isn't it? I use your mobile phones. How, how do you use them? It's very easy to communicate now, Silvio. 
you can touch that camera and now father will tell you people are watching you sniquely it's very global and they can watch you here and even as you are a pilot going through the air going to Timbuktu, going to Wayanisk, going to the ends of the world, but they will, they will know you are traveling, isn't it? traveling isn't it yeah the world has wonderful culture that is good if it's used well but it can also be abused it can also be abu abused the world has also within it a lot of bad things a lot of bad behaviors which your parents used to tell you if you do this, you have bad manners. Now it is now when you are here, you start to learn to take good, the good things of the world. Which Jesus Christ told his apostles. Remember this and this and that. And early, even when I'm no longer with you, do that that I've told you in my memory. In my memory. In the other words, be closer to God with your knowledge of being an a lawyer with the knowledge of being a doctor with your knowledge of anything in the world be closer to god abide in christ abide in christ if you have forgotten they had forgotten they had forgot and then that is how trials came in their lives and he told them take heed take heed, heed. be aware be aware there are people who are coming they behave like like good people but they are for a sake they give you a wrong culture of life a wrong culture of disobedience a wrong culture of indisciplineness a wrong culture of not making you a good human person they will be there but i have told you as jesus christ with you abide in my culture that I have taught say thank you to God even for the small things that he has done for you and you remember and he says do you not yet perceive all this do you not yet understand do you not yet understand why do you discuss about the facts of just bread here discuss beyond that bread discuss the goodness of God in your life so so yeah he saw it that and when he talks like that i feel so proud to see young people like yourself whom god has for himself himself god
as you do for himself, not for anybody else.